And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a Jersey cheer to the athletic director of Rutgers University, Tim Pernetti, and the head coach of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Greg Schiano. Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, coach and I are, are just incredibly honored to be here tonight on behalf of Eric. And, you know, on October 16th of 2010, I remember leaving um, the box to walk down to the field for the last three minutes of our game against Army. We just tied the game. I remember getting off the elevator at MetLife Stadium, walking down the tunnel, and hearing nothing but silence. And I walked out onto that field in front of 50,000 people. I never heard such silence in a football stadium in my life. And what happened to Eric Legrand changed everybody, except Eric Legrand. Now, the Eric Legrand you see today is the same Eric Legrand before his injury. And people say all the time, you spend so much time with Eric. Who is Eric? And I'll tell you what Eric is. Eric's a teacher, teaches people to stay positive. He teaches people to enjoy the moment. And he teaches people to believe that anything, absolutely anything is possible. Eric's a magnet of inspiration for this state. And not just this state. He brought Rutgers University together. He brought New Jersey together. He's brought a country together. And that's what Eric is. He's a family guy. And I have to take this, I, know, I don't know if they have people on the lights here, but Karen Legrand and Eric's family sitting up here towards the left, you want to talk about tough people. Those are tough New Jersey people. Karen, you guys are the best. The last thing I'll say about Eric before we bring Coach up is Eric's injury did not disable him. You know, people say all the time with these type of injuries it disables people. It did not disable him. Eric's injury enabled Eric to be the inspiration that he is. And I can tell you personally that I'm a much better person for having Eric Legrand in my life. Thanks, Tim. Um, Karen Legrand, before we get to Eric, Tim said it, the toughest woman, the toughest person that I've ever been around. The nights in the hospital where, as a coach, you usually don't get to know your players' parents as well as I got to know Karen sitting in the hospital talking. And from the night when the surgeon came back in after a nine-hour surgery, and gave us the facts. She grabbed me and said, Coach, Eric is not going to be some statistic. And to his Aunt Cheryl, who led the prayers around his bed, those prayers have been heard, and they'll continue to be heard. When you hear, you know, when I heard that Eric was going to be honored as the New Jersey Hall of Fame unsung hero, the word hero I don't know if there's anyone that exemplifies that more. You know, what is a hero? A hero is a leader. A hero is something that people, someone that people look up to for the right reasons. Well, in our time at Rutgers, we define leadership as the ability to influence others. Eric is certainly that. He's a leader. And Tim mentioned it. When you think about Eric, you think about the word believe. There's the Eric Legrand Believe Fund. There's the Believe Bands. But there's, it's more than a word. Eric believes in a few things. He believes in a great God above who is going to heal him. He believes that what happened to him, and this take this for a second, what happened to him happened to him particularly for a reason, him, because he can handle it. Think about a 21, think about a 51-year-old person saying, that happened to me because I can handle it, coach. And he believes that he will and has influenced others. He will get up out of this chair and walk. There's no doubt in my mind. On his time and on God's time, when he's done influencing others. Eric. Not only a leader, but the 2012 Unsung Hero recipient. We love you, Eric. Come on out.
thank you, Coach, and Chip, for you know, coming out here today. You know, Sacco for coming to be out here. You know, we're going to come out to my family, man. Also, Mr. Jersey Home Fan, thank you for this season thinking about giving me this award and putting me in just a social prestigious class of people. You know, it really means a lot to me, especially what I've been through and then still fighting for every single day of my life. You know, I was born in Jersey, raised in Jersey, and I'm Jersey tough. I was born in Avenel, New Jersey. It's a small little town, part of Woodbridge Township, New Jersey. And growing up, playing in the streets with all the kids, it was always a t type of competitiveness. Everyone wanted to be the best, no matter what it was. And when you didn't win at certain times, you know, you came in last or something, that didn't get us down. No matter what, we fought to be, on that certain day, the best that we could be. And that's how I continued to fight in, in my entire life. And as I went out to Rutgers, be with Cociano, learning through his whole program about fighting through adversity, not complaining, just handling it the way it is, just chopping the moment. That's what we do. And, you know, that was just another step in my life that's added to me, not complaining about anything that's happening to me or what's going on, just handling the situation right there. And, you know, when I got hurt on that day, on October 16th, that's the only thing I knew when Coach told me right there, when I was in on the field, just pray and believe, and I caught that gasp of air as they were bringing me onto the stretcher and get me into the ambulance. That's all I did was believe I was gonna be okay. And as I blacked out on that Saturday and woke up on Wednesday, I saw my mom and the first thing I could say was I'll be back. And I knew right then that this was gonna be a journey, it was gonna be a fight. I didn't know what had happened to me, but I knew that everything was gonna be okay. The positive energy around me, the way that New Jersey just rallied around me as I turned on the TV in my hospital room and just to see all, all the support that people have just, you know, just wrapped around me. That just kept me going. I'm like, how can I complain about this? I gotta, you know, take this on as a responsibility to get myself better and prove to all those people out there that believe in me that I can get up and I'm gonna handle my rehab the same way as I handled every football practice and just going out there and be the best that I could be. As coach always told us, just go out there and be the best that you can be, not the best that somebody else could be. And that's what I'm doing in my rehab as I go. And I see people in there fighting, trying to get back on their feet just like I am every single day over at Kessler Institute in West Orange. And that motivates me. You know, I see them over there battling for the same goal as me just to get back on their feet. They you know they don't have all the support that I have. And that's why I try to help them out too, by motivating them. And that we just, it's a big family in there that we motivate each other. And that's gonna lead us all to get back on our feet. And with the Christopher Dan and Reese Foundation, all the great things that they've been doing, they have such a great family. You know, the research is coming. Every, I'm telling you, all these people that are in this chair are gonna get back up on their feet. You just have to believe in yourself, you believe in the man above. Anything is truly possible in this world. And that's how I continue to handle my life because I know one day I will rise from this chair. This happened to me for a reason. You know, I'm trying to inspire a nation of people. If I can inspire one person a day, that really does keep me going. And when I go on my Twitter, Facebook, anything, and see all the nice things that people say to me, how I say to myself, how can I complain about anything in this world? I may be sitting in this chair, but I got a whole world of people behind me, whole New Jersey, you know. This is where I'm from. The amount of support that you guys have shown me has been truly a blessing, especially when it came to the Sports Illustrated moment, when New Jersey had the most votes out of anybody in the world and picking me for that cover of the Sports Illustrated. That really shows the amount the people that we have here, the strong people and the amount of support that we do when, when it's about one of, one of us, you know, one of us Jersey people. And that's what keeps us going every single day. And I just want to thank you guys again for inducting me into this Hall of Fame. You know, this is where I'm from. This is where I'm going to be at. And Jersey is a part of me for the rest of my life. And I, just thank you again. This honor is truly a blessing. Thank you for this award. Eric? Eric, we have one more surprise for you, Eric. Please welcome Eric's best friends and teammates, Evan Watkins, Scott Malone, and Bo Batchety. Happy we could surprise you a little bit. Um, I actually thought Eric was an unsung hero as well until I found out he has 67,000 followers on Twitter. So, um, but honestly, the state of New Jersey couldn't have picked a better uh, person, somebody that's reached so many people. And um, 
you know, through, through this process, he's, he's touched so many people and been an inspiration and been so uplifting, especially to us. And Eric, you know, the football team's always thinking of you. You're in the heart and our prayers and congratulations.